morning students today's topic is different regions of brain and in this topic we will study, uh, study about the different part and their function what is their location their function so let's start with this regions of brain brain is divided into three regions first is forebrain then midbrain and the third one is hind brain let's start with the first one which is forebrain forebrain is having two regions one is cerebrum and the other one is cerebrum. Cerebrum, cerebrum as you know it is seat of intelligence, memory, consciousness, will power, voluntary actions. Means whatever comes to your mind that uh, when we are saying to us, use your brain, use your mind, use, uh, you are not having brain. So this, all the terms are for this. If you are having memory power, if you are having consciousness, if you are having will power, all the voluntary actions, all the movement, all the uh, actions that we are doing is related to our brain and especially with the cerebrum uh, of the brain. So this cerebrum is seat of intelligence, memory power, consciousness, will power, voluntary actions. Second, the next part of forebrain is diencephalon. And it is further divided into two regions. One is thalamus and the other one is hypothalamus which is just below the thalamus. That's why the name is hypothalamus. Role of thalamus is it relays pain and pressure impulses that when we got hurt or in, um, if uh, we are under stress. So all these conditions, pain and pressure impulses are related to the Cerebrum through hypothalamus. So hypothalamus is responsible for um, for the emotional changes or emotions like pain or the stress conditions. So all these things are all these impulses are transmitted from from thalamus to the cerebrum. Next is hypothalamus. Hypothalamus it controls the body temperature. Body temperature is regulated by hypothalamus and it also controls the pituitary gland which is the master gland. So all the secretion of the pituitary is controlled by hypothalamus. Next is the midbrain. Midbrain is a small tubular part and its role is um, for the reflexes. Reflexes involving eyes and ear. What we see, what we observe or what we hear, all these reflexes and we, our body respond according to them, according to these reflexes. So this uh, impulses and their reflexes are related with the midbrain. Third one is hindbrain. Hindbrain is having three regions. One is the cerebellum, medulla oblongata and pons. First one, cerebellum. Cerebellum, we have already studied about cerebellum and cerebr cerebellum is responsible for all the muscular activity, coordinating movements. When we are um, doing two works together, suppose I am moving and writing. So that writing involves um, um, the work of hand and while I am moving, so balance of the body while writing or um, throwing a ball while moving. So all this um, balancing or coordination of the body is via cerebellum. Cerebellum is responsible for the coordination of muscular activity, coordinated balance of the body. Next is pons. Pons uh, location because uh, location of cerebellum we have already studied. So the location of pons is it is in the center of the brain below the cerebellum part. Function of um, um, pons is it carries impulses or the impulses for muscular activity from one hemisphere of cerebellum to the other hemisphere of cerebrum, in cerebellum. So that two hemispheres of cerebellum are connectivated, connected by um, pons and the coordination of their work, the coordination of muscular activity is also controlled by pons. Third one is medulla oblongata. 
medulla oblongata controls the activity of internal organs the um, activities like internal activities like uh, heart beat breathing or the um, whatever role it means you can say it is a home minister uh, it controls the all the activity inside the house so all the internal um, activities are controlled by medulla oblongata uh, let's have a quick revision of all this regions of brain brain is brain consists of three regions fore brain mid brain and hind brain fore brain again divided into two regions cerebrum and diencephalon Cere diencephalon is having two regions thalamus and hypothalamus then mid brain no further division is there hind brain is divided into three cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata so let's make a flow chart just for the quick revision regions of brain fore brain mid brain and hind brain fore brain is again divided into two regions that is cerebrum and diencephalon diencephalon is again divided into two regions thalamus t and hypothalamus here hind brain is divided into three regions cerebellum so it is cerebellum cm i am writing here cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata so here from this fmh fmh fore brain mid brain hind brain f is further divided into c and d cd cerebrum diencephalon d again th thalamus hypothalamus mid brain no further divisions are there um, hind brain cpm cm for cerebellum p for pons and m for medulla oblongata next a quick revision of their functions all the activities involving brain part all the activities which we think that it is the role of brain is of the cerebrum part right it is seat of intelligence it is responsible for the memory it is for consciousness will part voluntary actions <clears throat> next is thalamus thalamus the pain and pressure impulses are relayed by thalamus from uh, thalamus to the cerebrum and it is um, then um, the message is coordinated <coughs> next is hypothalamus hypothalamus it controls the body temperature and pituitary next one is cerebrum the function of midbrain reflexes of eye what we see what we hear is by midbrain the messages or the impulses are coordinated controlled by midbrain hindbrain cerebellum part coordinates muscular activity and body balance pons is responsible for also for the muscular activity and balance pons send messages to the different two different hemispheres of cerebellum and controls the muscular activity medulla oblongata, uh, oblongata it is the home minister it controls all the internal organs it controls um, activities like heartbeat and breathing so um, here if we whatever we think that whatever the work we are doing like we are um, we we are doing uh, using our brain to do sums for writing for memorizing some, something um, we have to go to school we have to attend classes so all this all the conscious activities all the things that we are doing consciously will part that no today i'll complete my homework today i'll complete my project today i'll complete my task so all the all these things depend upon will part so the intelligence memory consciousness will part all these are controlled by cerebrum thalamus for pain and pressure messages 
um, hypothalamus for controlling body temperature um, body temperature and uh, pituitary gland the hormonal control it is uh, it um, uh, hypothalamus controls pituitary which is the master gland of the body here midbrain midbrain is the smaller part but it is it controls the major chain uh, major impulses which is through ear and eye so impulses reflexes of um, uh, reflexes of eye and ear is controlled by the midbrain third part is the hindbrain hindbrain the cerebellum parts controls uh, body balance and muscular activities the pons part it relays messages from one hemisphere of cerebellum to other hemisphere of cerebellum controls muscular activities function is almost similar to cerebellum because it is a connecting um, part of uh, cerebellum third is medulla oblongata hominister controls internal organs controls heartbeat control um, it controls breathing process so this is about different regions of um, different regions of thank you students for joining this